Let's watch some Greg and Tim show clips. Anyway, okay, moving on to the topic of the day. Okay, so ready? I, I I'm just very wait, ready. before we move on. Yep. We got to play the music. Okay. Oh yeah. You ready? Hip hip hooray! Is right. So hip hip. That's what in I remember. That's exactly how it went. Right. Hip hip hooray! I can't it's time for the top of the day. I'm, I'm doing a Mandela effect oh, joke. Okay. Let's play the music. <laughs> okay, hooray! It's time for the topic of the day. So the topic that I wanted to get into, and we had this discussion on the weekend uh, before the taping. You went with your son, and you were going to go to the, the McDonald's as you had every meal at McDonald's when your wife was gone. <laughs> I did not. Uh, Lorraine, I apologize. I hope you created Subway I, I on the you, Friday. Oh, we had Subway and then McDonald's and, then and Burger Saturday. King. So we had healthy so, meals no, when I made his wife him, was gone. I made him lunch at home. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and then on the Friday night, the girls were going out and, yeah. you know, like... He's being left out of this. So, <laughs> of course, I'm going to let him well, yeah. I'm going to let him have Subway. Yeah. And I had to have Osmos. <laughs> so, and I also I also drove all the way to Polo Park Best Buy to make a purchase that wasn't really sanctioned by the uh, by oh, the household. Yeah, yeah, let's not talk. We'll talk about it. Anyway. It was an unsanctioned purchase. <laughs> yeah. So, I drove I drove him all the way so, there. So, so he, half an hour so there, Greg half made, an hour yeah, back. Greg made lots of un, uh, per, mer, purchases <laughs> when the wife was gone, when Lorraine was gone, and fed the kid McDonald's and Burger King. No, Subway. Subway so, weekend. he had Subway on yeah. Friday night when they were yeah. gone because he was feeling bad that he wasn't getting to go. <laughs> and then on Saturday, he had hockey in the morning, and then he wanted a snack after the hockey game. I said, yeah. no, like you can have either a snack <coughs> now. You can have either a snack now. Yeah. Or after the hawk or during the Jets game, I'll take you and we'll get you McDonald's yeah. and you can enjoy McDonald's for the hockey game. Th- just as a treat for him. He can have a treat. Yeah. Like and he wasn't getting the whole experience so, that the girls were getting. So, and so, yes, go so, ahead. So anyway, so I, I offered because I wanted to save Greg some money. I said, well, I have, a, I have a gift card for Tim Hortons. You guys want to go to Tim Hortons and get food? It's close by. It's right down the street. And Greg said, no, no, he won't eat that. And uh, well, the, uh, so, so uh, think back, about it. Though, backtrack as a kid. Backtrack, backtrack. Uh, the weekend before, I was with a friend. I won't say his name, uh, but we had ordered. What does uh, it na- rhyme with? Just say I what know, it rhymes with. I'm not going to do that. Uh, no, no, say no, what it I'm rhymes throw, with. I'm not throwing anyone under the bus. No, but, just rhyme the name. I'm not saying throw it under the bus. <laughs> Raven. Raven. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Trying to disguise things because he watches all the time. And I'm does not, he, does I'm, he I'm really? Not, I'm not taking shots at anybody, but it's just for the topic for today. Yeah. And we had ordered a bunch of stuff from a restaurant, uh, and it was enough for everybody to eat. Uh, but he said, well, my kids won't eat that, so I'm going to order five more things and make it yeah. twice the cost. So this kind of goes into the idea. So is, here's the topic. Let, let, let me let, give it the let, topic. Let, 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 me, let me just, before I give the topic. Okay. Uh, and, and in my mind, and I try not to judge, but I can judge sometimes, especially when it comes to food. Uh, and I'm not claiming I'm a perfect parent because I'm far from it. But I thought uh, I'm a more of an old school parent yeah. in that if you my, eat what you're given my, you my kids are going to eat what they're given yeah and if they don't i guess they're not eating that meal and that's just where i come from so the topic is are we creating a spoiled next generation is it a child first uh society that we as parents for the most part are in and what are the detriments if we agree that it has become that where everything is about the child uh so that is the question that I had for you. And again, without trying to pass judgment on you, because we have, first of all, there's two parents, unless you're from a single parent, um, you what? have to, you have to work with your spouse <laughs> yep. uh, and your spouse has different opinions on things. So sometimes there's, you, there's disagreement in that, but for the most part, that's the question I have. Are we creating a spoiled next generation where it is a child centered universe? So I, I think that, and the one thing that came to my mind is that we start thinking like our parents after we become parents. Right. And it's more so we start judging what other parents are doing when our kids have start like basically grown up. Right. So your kids are all grown up now. Yeah. You've gotten part. through... The parts where it's like, no, dad, I don't want that. Or no, dad, I'm not going to have that. And you, you kind of like misremember for the most what part, it was like for the to most have a part, child like, like that. If, if you're sticking with food, yeah, there are very few foods my kids will not eat. Okay. Uh, there are certain things but everybody's they different. Like. Everybody's uh, different. You, like I know that my uncle growing yeah. up would only eat certain foods yeah. and he would not eat foods that touched each other. Yeah. And his and his parents yeah. 
allowed that to happen. Right. So that happened in that generation. It, it happened in a different generation. And, and I my have, other uncle, yeah. or sorry, not my other uncle, um, one of my cousins only eats chicken fingers. Right. Like, we'll go to the restaurant, she'll eat chicken fingers. And if she's listening, she knows who she is. Yeah. <laughs> I have, But here's the thing. Yeah. It happened all the time. And I think that what happens is, like, in our lives, me... Yeah having young kids right now yeah i cater to a little bit of what they need but i also at home tell them hey this is what we made for supper if you don't want it you're not having any supper yeah. like i do that yeah. but when it comes to like you know if i'm going to take them out for supper yeah. i'm not going to take them to tim hortons where they're not going to want something yeah. i'm going to take them to somewhere where they actually want something. i'm not spending 12 dollars at tim hortons yeah. when i have a coupon for mcdonald's it's only going to spend eight dollars right. and i know he's going to eat it right so that's my argument. Right. So your argument is, is that it has nothing to do with this time period. It's been the it, each time period since whenever the 1900s have seen just as many uh, selfless as selfish kids in yeah. it. Okay. I, I think so. I would disagree you, with have that. Have you watched Willy Wonka? Uh, I have watched Willy Wonka and the new Willy Wonka, which, by the way, is fantastic. Have you seen it yet? I haven't seen the new Willy Wonka. Did it work? Yeah, you went. But your wife went with the kids. The old so one's right. actually called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Right. Yeah. People remember it as Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It, I do remember it as Charlie. Uh, <laughs> 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 <Pretty> sad. <laughs> so, anyway, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. If you remember, and that movie is old, the old one, yeah. and the new one, yeah. new-ish one, I guess. The new-ish one is not not that new anymore. A month ago. But both, no, the like. The Johnny Depp one oh, and yeah, the yeah, Richard, yeah, yeah, right, 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 yeah, yeah, um, whatever. Anyways, if you look at it, there's kids in those movies that are spoiled. Yeah, kids have been spoiled. Yeah, forever. Yeah, and it all depends on the parents. Yeah. So I guess my question is: Do you think parents are spoiling their kids more now than they used to? I think there's more uh, to spoil kids with now. I think that our kids have more um uh what do you call it merchandise more uh what's the word uh materials that yeah. they can have uh, i think kids you know you think are, kids or everybody i think everybody but i think it's starting earlier i think now we have we give our kids cell phones at the age i think the average age that a kid gets a cell phone now is 10 in oh, north america geez. my son turns 10 in a couple weeks yeah. he's not getting a cell phone yeah that's the average age uh, and there's kids as early as uh, age five that are getting cell phones. And, you know, a parent will say, well, so we can keep track of them at all times. Somehow we were managed to have, you know, kids when there was no phones at all or no cell phones anyway. Yeah. And we just had a landline. And I guess that everyone passed away and died then. But uh, <laughs> uh, and which which is creating not just a spoiled next generation, but an unsafe one. Uh, the things that that can be accessed on, on, on cell phones. And things yeah. Like that, right? The thing the thing with it is. I think the world's also become smaller. Right. So like, for instance, we're, for us to go to Steinbeck now is much easier right. than it would have been back when our parents were younger, right. right? Like vehicles are more fuel efficient. There is less cost to going there. There's more yeah. reason to going there, that type of thing, right? So I think that the cell phone thing comes from like, people don't work locally anymore too. Right or go to school locally, right? Like sometimes your school's a half an hour away from your house. Whereas when I grew up, my school was within walking distance. And I think when my parents grew up, it was very similar. They either took the bus or their school was within walking distance because right. when you lived in an area of the city, you lived in an area of the city that had a school around you. Yeah. Now, like if my kids wanted to walk to their school, it would take them a whole day to walk to their school because right. their school is far enough away, right? Yeah. And that's, that's their actual catchment school. Right. So and and I think it's because like cities have become sprawling and stuff has become more far further apart for the cell phone for the cell phone incident anyway. Yeah. Right. Uh yeah, that's that's fair. I mean, I lived I walked to school too. Uh mid 80s, late 80s. Um yeah, so that's a fair that's a fair point. Uh, I do still think that as we get um I guess you can go back to the the Great Depression where you had People had to work for a lot of their, a lot of their income, and things were hard. I think maybe since then it's gotten softer and softer each generation. I do think today, in today's day and age, 
uh, we are spoiling our kids a bit more than we used to, but yeah. it's hard to compare that to, you know, what are we comparing to? So, and I agree with you that like, it's harder to buy kids gifts. Like right. uh, I got a text message saying like, what does Cruz want for his birthday? Yeah. And it's really difficult. I think one of the things that it, that has hurt it though, is things like, you know, you don't buy physical media anymore. Right. So you don't buy DVDs. Yep. You don't buy CDs. The only physical media that's out there right now really is books. Right. Um, toys have been, been replaced with by video games. And video games, physical video games have been replaced by digital video, video right. games. And they're so much more accessible. Right. So growing up, if you wanted to buy a video game, it had to A, be in stock, yep. and B be available in your city for for us so it wasn't as accessible so now it feels like like so much stuff is more accessible to right. kids that it's easier to buy it for them right and not only that but um what you're getting for your child in their activities in a way are we creating a lazy generation too right because yeah. kids are less they 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 don't do as and your, your kids do sports yeah uh, for, the, for the most part a lot of video games have replaced books yeah um I, I, there was games when I was younger, but it was like Sega Genesis maybe, and it was in the early stages. Oh, um, you were probably around for Pong. ColecoVision and Pong. Pong. And ColecoVision, <laughs> right? Uh, so there's well, a little bit of that too. My daughter just finished her first chapter book. She's right. only seven, yeah. so that's fantastic. And yeah. Cruz is reading books every night now before bed. I'm trying to get my kids to read books yeah. because I think it's important, which uh, just reminds me that I got to uh, all text and tell them, get him some books that he right. likes because I think physical media, like yeah. we talked about last week, you know, Danny said, you, you buy a book and you're instantly smarter, right? right? But like, if you can teach your kids to read books when they're younger yeah. so that they read books when they're older, right? that's, that's so, something we can spoil them with. So in, uh, in the church setting that we're from, yep. priorities basically are God is your top priority, mm -hmm. your spouse is your second priority, and your children is your third priority. And when some people think that their children should be ahead of their spouse, that's or even God in some ways. But most yep. people, most people that go to church would argue God is number one. Yeah. Even if they don't live like that, they're gonna they're gonna say it is right. Yeah. And it's the order of two and three which some people would say displaces and makes the child, it's a child centered household when that child is more important than the spouse. And you can argue that in the child's mind, yep. it goes possessions, right. God, right. parents. Do you, th so let's flip the question a little bit. Do you think that more families put their kids in front of their spouse be than before? Like maybe let's say in the last 30, 40 years, cause we can only remember a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. Um, or do you think it's always been that way that some people sp have put their kids in front of their spouse? I, I think that most people put their kids in front of their spouse. And I think that that might be one of the contributing factors to why households break down a right. lot of the times nowadays. Right. Whereas I think in the past, if you watch like older movies or older TV shows, for instance, the spouses um, respected each other right. more. And, you know, they were the, they were the heads of household. Right. Right. Whereas now, like when you watch TV shows now, I feel like a lot of the times yeah. they actually make the kids the heads of household. Right. Right. Like I watch some of the shows that my kids watch that are family shows and the kids are the heads of household. Right. They, Whereas you watch like a show like Full House back in the day, you had three strong male people that were in charge of the house, yeah. right? The kids didn't run the house. Do you know that one of the uh, t a common times a parent, sorry, two spouses will get divorced is after the kids leave the house because you've spent 20 years neglecting a marriage. Each other. And you've put the kids first and then you they leave the house and you you don't know each other. Yeah. And so statistically, and I don't have the statistic in front of me, but a, a, a large percentage of marriages end in divorce at that time. Yeah. So that goes to your point uh, about if you mismanage those, the two and three priorities. And I think right? a lot of the times if you put the kids first, yeah. 
that's when some of these breakdowns will happen in general, right? Yeah. right? Like even before the kids move out yeah. because you you miss out on like what makes your spouse happier, right? right? And you're just more worried about like your kids not being mad at you or yeah. your kids getting what they want and, and that type of thing. And when you put kids in charge, let's say you put an, a 10-year-old in charge. Well, they're incapable of taking along that responsibility because they're 10. Yeah. You're trying to entrust that to a 10-year-old. Well, they... Uh, we know, in, especially in males, boys' brains don't develop uh, until they're like 25. 28, 25 or something yeah. like that, right? Whereas women, it's it's 18 like to 16 20. 16 to 18. Uh, but but that can be pretty scary, right? Yeah. Uh, the other thing that I wrote down is when you put a child as a center of their own universe, when they get to adulthood and they have to have jobs and things like that, the world doesn't work like that. It doesn't revolve right? around them. We had an example at our school when our kids were in high school and... Um, there was a child that was bullying them. Yeah. Um, and they were like, no, no, just, just whatever, just give in to them. You know, like we're, we're going to protect them. They have issues. And I'm like, well, this kid, when they get to, how are they going to hold down a job? Yeah. If ever, and, and the parent was just kind of um, stepping in for them and making excuses, not taking ownership and, and all it was like, well, that parent's not going to be around in five years. Yeah. How are we teaching this child how to behave if in when they're 16 year, years old they're getting their way yeah and it becomes more difficult when they start getting into like work environments right. and stuff like that because then they're so used to getting their way yeah. that when they don't get their way in a work environment yeah. or they start taking advantage of the work environment yeah. that they feel like they've been wronged yeah right and you've got to tell you got to teach your kids that nothing is for free yeah. and everything's earned yeah. respect and everything like that is earned because if you don't they're going to have a very tough time in the real world yeah. and i think that that's uh i think that's going to be a big problem for some of these kids yeah just personally and this is me speaking as a older generation now yeah and uh you know well i, I think the only thing we can do as parents yeah. is work with our kids to teach them the benefits of hard work and the benefits of uh, of going out there and actually respecting the people that they're working for. Like I, there's people that are 50, 40, 50 years old that haven't learned that and yeah. they're in that setting where, you know, someone should have. But taken. they're few and fewer and far between right. in that generation. Right. Then hopefully, hopefully yeah. that it, it, it sticks that way. But yeah. Based so, on track record right so now, it's it not. It sounds like, and I brought this conversation to you and, and we hadn't really talked about this before. Uh, but it sounds like we agree on pretty much everything here, but you disagree that it's becoming more and more of an issue. It's always been an issue. It's I think been it's a consistent issue. I think it's been an issue, but I think that the, the child centered parenting yeah. has become a bigger issue in terms of like relationships right? as opposed to, um, I think we've always given our kids what we think they need. Right. And I think that we've like grandparents and parents have always spoiled children. Right. But I think that it's gotten worse in terms of like, we've, we've gotten our eyes off of what we should be focused on yeah. and we're focusing on the kids first. Right. And the kids are focusing on possessions first and it's hurting their relationship with their parents too. Right. So that's and, my opinion. And as parents, um, there's two ways we can, learn from their, our parents and do exactly what they they did yeah. or do the complete opposite, which yeah. happens, one of the two happens, right? And we and talked- that, That's usually what happens. Yeah. Like you either, you either do what your parents have done yeah. and you continue this down the same road yeah. or you break that, you break that cycle and you do something totally different. Right. And, you know, some things that your parents have done that were bad influences or bad things yeah. and you break that cycle hopefully you're breaking that cycle for your kids as yeah. well. And this goes into our discussion a bit last week where, you know, I talked about the blueprint message um, where, where what we have learned comes out at a future date into our subconscious. How do we behave? Yep. It's what we learned right um, through the years environmentally uh, from what we've seen uh, as parents, as spouses and things like that. So yep. um, interesting discussion. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what people out there think. Are, yeah. are we creating a spoiled generation? Is it becoming worse? Is it the same? How do we feel about this? Are, are, are families placing the child uh, ahead of a spouse? And is that right? Yeah. Maybe some people want to say, no, my, my, my child is the center. Of, I don't know if there's anyone that would believe that. Uh, <laughs> there might be. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I think that uh, I think that it'd be great to know 
if uh, different generations. So like if your if your kids are older or if your kids are younger, kind of put that in the comments. Like you know my kids are are younger and I don't think that, or I think that my kids are older and I don't think that I think that because I think that that will also dictate um, some of the answers that we're getting. Yep, so for sure. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching the Greg and Tim Show clips. The subscribe button right there. Click that guy. Also, video in front of me, video in front of Tim. The one in front of me is better than the one in front of Tim, so feel free. Watch That's whichever. Not true at all. This one is far superior. Okay. Superior blue. Superior, oh, superior blue. See you later.